Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hops. Today, joined by just Mike and Brett of Animices. <laughs> yeah. Looking of Animices. Of Looking at our final bottle of <laughs> Bee Bomb yep. variation. Or just the final bottle of Bee Bomb. Yeah. So, this is another yeah, variation but... on Bee Bomb by Fremont. And uh, the coconut one was really fucking good. So milky coconutty, and the base was really fucking good as well. Mm. But this one, I think I will really like because this is the coffee and yeah, cinnamon. Coffee fanatic. Yes, and I love cinnamon, cinnamon. fanatic. Yeah. Yes. Fucking fanatic. My favorite Pokemon is Cinnamon. Yeah. Uh, but this <laughs> was horrible. But I think this will be very nice because I'm a big fan of coffee and cinnamon. <laughs> so funny. Peter made a funny. Uh, but this is. Uh, just like bourbon bee bomb, it's a 14% imperial winter ale, which has been aged in 8 to 12 year old bourbon barrels for up to 9, 12, and 24 months, and then blended together. And this edition has, after extended barrel aging, Let me guess. a Coffee treatment and cinnamon. of cinnamon. <laughs> oh oh my god. Are you psychic? I think so. Yeah. Shit. I just thought that was. Yeah. You're, you're gonna be called from now on, not just Michael, you're Michael the Phoenix. Yeah. Let Michael? me get cinema. Oh, oh no, he can be Professor X. Yeah, <laughs> Professor X. Yeah, the God. Oh well. Yeah. Okay. No. We need to find someone hairy enough to be Wolverine then. <laughs> oh my God. And I can't see anything about my context, so I can be Cyclops. Well, it's yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Derailing. So we're checking out coffee cinnamon B bomb. There we go. Fremont. Thanks a ton to Nick for this one. Did a trade. Checking it out. So. Pours, and then we swirl. A black color. It. Listen to it. It doesn't say it. It smells like. It, it sounds, sounds like, like the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> no, but the, the one. Oh that, my yeah. god! It sounds like the ocean. No, <laughs> oh my god! The new thing of Master Pop's reviews. We listen <laughs> yeah. to a beer before we drink. We it. don't wow. smell it. We just listen to Cinnamon it. Cinnamon coffee. Well, oh, yeah. you, can, yeah. you can hear the. Feels. I feel deaf on my right ear. Well, tell me yeah. something I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks great though. It's like yeah. a dark. Well, this looks darker than the other one, or maybe it's just because the light outside is dimmed. I think yeah. the the head is, is yeah. Yeah, the head might be a bit darker. Yeah. Yeah, slightly. But again, the light outside is dimmed. Mm. But it doesn't have that cappuccino like color. Uh, fizzy. No. But no, nice, it's not a fizzy think, foam. Yeah. Nice Sorry. tan head. <laughs> Dark ruby it red. It smells like coffee. Light color. Yeah. And cinnamon. Cinnamon. <laughs> Let's check out the aroma. Bread all you cheated. Check it out. You cheated, bro? Oh, yeah, that smells oh, yeah. so fucking Lots great. of cough. Again, it's so bourbon forward. Yeah. Like, the barrel character mm. on this is just so thick. But it, it yeah. blends but so I think, much into the, like, the coffee say, and cinnamon. I think the cinnamon and coffee mixes better with the, with the barrel than the coconut. I think the coconut was awesome. I, just think, I think the, the coconut was awesome, but I think the base suits cinnamon coffee better. But you thought that before you tasted it. <laughs> yeah, just smelling it is what I'm getting at. But I just think the and it's cinnamon, not overdone with cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon and coffee is like deeper. Yeah, kind of yeah. Notes. And and I, I just think it think depends on what you like. Yeah, yeah. If you like because coconut, like coconut well, is a much more like vi light and vibrant. Yeah, kind of. Where this is note. more dense and yeah. deep, and that's the kind of flavors I. And I think prefer. you kind of sense this better yeah. in some way. Yeah. Together with the bourbon. And then on top of that, you get. Loads of bourbon, but this one, the umami characters and the roasted malt and stuff like that, like it's a bit more forward as well. Yeah, yeah. you definitely but smell it more, I think. Um, not roasted malt, chocolate malt. But it's definitely the same bee bomb base. Yeah. yeah, with the slight yeah. umami. It's like the same yeah. vintage of bee bomb. And the just... dark fruit is more prominent on this as well compared to the coconut version. But it smells nice. It smells really good. Yeah. The cinnamon. Oh, I love cinnamon in beers. Yeah. And also just like in this, it's like, it's not overdone. It's like a nice nuance with the coffee, mm. but. It has like a spicy, dark fruity kind of thing. But that's should probably we, because Should of we the see if cinnamon, cinnamon is also the tastiest cinnamon. Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Let's taste it. <laughs> Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. It's definitely cinnamony. It is. Oh yeah! Wow, that's much more cinnamon on the flavor. Wow, than that's spicy. And like and the coffee. Oh yeah, it's interesting. It's like it's, cinnamon it's and dry. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then interesting, 
like the cinnamon fate is like on a lot of coffee yeah. yeah yeah it's actually it's interesting because both this and the coconut they're really heavy on the adjunct pairing that they talk about. yeah because sometimes you get these variation on barrel aged beers it's like it's an undertone this is super heavy on what's on the label yeah this you want to is... pair it with another cream puff <laughs> Bring coconut oh cream my god out. The, I think this is much more dry than I expected. Mm. It's it's it, it's definitely dry. Yeah, yeah but, but that's but probably what you get I when you use cinnamon. real ingredients. Yeah, but I think it's also cinnamon. Cinnamon is dry. Mm. It, it, it provides a dryness. It has like this dry cinnamon character paired with like a nice rich coffee flavor, and then it again, definitely has some coffee bitterness too. Mm -hmm. And then it has this onslaught of uh, of bourbon, yeah. like so much mm. barrel character. Yeah, again, it has so huge, much fudgy. Bourbon richness. Like, I think these beers are, like, if you are you don't like beers that taste a lot like barrel, you won't like them. Because nope. I feel like all the B-bombs so far, they've been super barrel forward. Mm. But it's like yeah. a 50-50, in my opinion. Yeah, because like they're still also 50, base. Like, yeah. barrel, and then 50, like, base beer with adjuncts. Mm -hmm. yeah. I actually like the coconut better. I like them equally. And I might be a little bit more into this because I love that flavor of, of coconut and coffee together. Mm. Paired together, I'm also getting a little bit of the umami vibes. We like should have saved something for a cuvee. Oh yeah, fuck, we didn't. Nope. I you think have I would to imagine I, I, a cuvee. I would point this equally to the coconut, but I think I would prefer to drink this just because I prefer cinnamon and, and I coffee. think I prefer the, the milky coconut mm, thing. I think so. Yeah. I think I, I would, like the umami, I would want to cinnamon. drink I would like to drink more one. of the other one, yeah. but this one I might like a little bit more, but I'm not entirely sure and that's why I'm going to give this a 97 like the coconut. Yeah. I I'm think go I would Yeah, thing. I'll go 96 on this one. Just because I would definitely want to drink more of the, the coconut. coconut one, yeah, me too. but this one is more of, of a like impression beer. It's so, it's something that impresses you on the lo uh, short run. It's something not, not, you. Uh, I don't. I won't say that. Not for my uh, on my account. I, I definitely think so. Like it's, the it's not more. something you want but I've to tasted, drink a lot of. I think of. I've tasted cinnamon beers more often than coconut, and I think the coconut was more well executed than this one. I think. Yeah, yeah. But, I, but, I agree. The coconut was more executed because you got that milkiness. But I just I really like the flavor of the coconut yeah, and coffee, it, and, it, and and in general flavor wise, I prefer like or coconut and coffee, cinnamon and coffee. I prefer coffee and cinnamon mm. over a flavor like coconut. Whereas I still really enjoy coconut as well. Mm. It's also one of my top flavors if you put it in stouts and whatnot. But coffee and cinnamon is just a bit higher for me, and that and that might be why I prefer it a little bit more. But I still pin it in the same ninety seven range because I think they're fucking awesome. It's just like that's the other one's more of a milky kind of sweeter beer. This is more true to what B bomb is in terms of mm. the molassesy, a dark fruity, rich kind of malt flavors yeah. pair with the cinnamon coffee vibe, and then the crazy. Awesome barrel character. I, I just don't think the base was as dry as this mm. one. No, this is more dry. I, I think, think, I think it's definitely really drier. It, it, and it's drier because of the cinnamon. Yeah. Cinnamon for mm -hmm. sure dries it out. Yeah. I think I think the base was much more like the, the coconut version. The, the coconut version just added like a kind of a milky... It added to yeah. that yeah, yeah, vanilla. Yeah, I can see what you mean. But, the trust, but at the same time, this does not detract from the no, base. No, no, it doesn't no, no. detract. This is more base I, I true, yeah. if you can say yeah, that. Yeah. The other one did it, did pushed it more towards a, a pastry yeah. beer. Yeah, but this also. But it kind of added to that yeah. milky vanilla. I like the coconut. But I must say, speaking of barrel aged winter beers or English strong ale, it's probably the best in the category I've had. Absolutely, all it's three. Fantastic. Yeah. It's a fantastic. It's, it's beer. never. It's very rare you have like winter ale or winter warmers that are as crazy tasty as this. Mm. Mm. But uh, yeah. 97 for me for the coffee cinnamon. 96 for me. 96, yeah. I'll go 96. Mm. It's a oh, we're so disagreeing. Just no. one grade. No, I'm, yeah. just, I'm making fun of it. <laughs> Give this an 80. Yeah. Oh 80. my god. What the fuck? 75. Is this? this is made with cinnamon. Yeah. I hate cinnamon. 50. <laughs> we need 40. To, we need we need to get <laughs> we need to get a bottle yeah. of rusty nail to yeah. review. That would yeah. be awesome. If any of you guys watching right now, you have free to trade. Hit rusty nail is awesome. We'd love to trade for some rusty nail. Or and we have, and we have, have a review. And like, we have a review of rusty nail at NBCC. It was really good. Yeah. And we have a review coming of Brew 3000. You did? No, Brew 3000. No, no, 3000. 3000. Right. Yeah. 
<laughs> I had three rest of yeah. the uh, I had and his three. Food. But it was really good. It's a, it smoke, was like it's a, a smoked imperial stout yeah. with licorice cinnamon and aged in burn barrels. Yeah. It it's like off, a Mexican really kind good. of smoked okay. imperial stout. It's really good. Uh, that would be I actually awesome. think I tasted it, didn't I? Didn't no, because you were not at that session. No, oh, okay. No, wait, no, you are. It was awesome. Was. That's right. That was where we also tried the Bourbon County. Now we're just rambling. But this is awesome, guys. If you get the chance to try the Coconut Cinnamon Bee Bomb, try it. I'd definitely say try and trade for a set so you get to try all the variations. My like advice, Bourbon. get the Coconut. My favorite is also I will, the Coconut. It, I will have a hard time designing, but, but, but maybe... But by a small mod, mod, we're allowed to have a favorite. This is the favorite one. Yeah. By a small margin, but I would say trade for the entire set so you can try yeah. all three. Yeah. Uh, of the 18 release. I don't know if they did more. I don't think they did more in bottles this year, but they do like all kinds of variations mm. on it on tap as well. So if you had a chance to try the coconut or coffee, <laughs> if you had a chance to try the coffee cinnamon version of Viva, I'm letting us know what you thought of it. From 2018, great bourbon barrel aged winter ale, if you can call it that. And uh, if you had a guys, let us know. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers and some delicious... Cheers. Barrel Age Winter Ale, and see you guys in another video.